so you will not get admission into spas or any nits if your board's percentage is less than hi everybody i hope you all are doing well welcome or welcome back to sketch school of art and creativity so in today's video we are going to talk about the eligibility criteria for J B R 2023 aspirants. Now, जब COVID का year आया था, guys, उसके बाद से uh, eligibility criteria थोड़ा सा relax हो गया था. You know, uh, every year COVID से पहले 75% rule was there that in your board examination you should absolutely have 75% to take admission in IITs, NITs, and centrally funded institutions, right? But COVID के time पे ये 75 को 50 कर दिया गया था. And that is why all the confusions regarding the eligibility criteria has come up. So in today's video, I am going to clear all your doubts regarding the eligibility criteria. After today's video, you will be clear कि कौन J B R examination में appear कर सकता है और कौन नहीं कर सकता है. ऐसा नहीं है कि आप कुछ भी कर रहे हो किसी भी age के हो आपने कभी भी 12th दिया है तो you can give J B R examination. That is not the case. And in some cases, you cannot even do architecture if you do not. Not fall under this eligibility criteria. So I hope that this video will be useful to you. And without much introduction, let us get started with the video. So the first eligibility criteria for J Paper Two examination is that there is no age limit. You are of any age. You can give the J Paper Two examination. आप कितने भी बड़े हो, 25 के हो, 40 के हो, 50 के हो, किसी भी age के हो, you can give J B R examination. But there is a game changer. You should have appeared for your 12th board examination in the year 2021, 2022 or you would be appearing in 2023. So, you can age group, you can see But you should have given your board examination just uh, maximum two years back. So, if you have to 50 age, you can become an architect, then you can become an architect when you have finished your 12th class in 2 years ago. So guys, if you have given your board examination or actually any other qualifying examinations, I will provide the list of qualifying examinations which you could have appeared for apart from board examinations as well. As some students also are diploma students, right? So, all of board examinations are not given. So, it's board or equivalent examinations. So, if you have appeared for both or other equivalent examinations in 2019 or before than that before 2021 basically then you are not eligible for J paper 2 examinations the next point in which everybody is having a lot of confusion is that what is your home state because home state plays a very huge role in getting into a few colleges for example if you are getting into a particular NIT so there you will have a few reservations if you are from a particular home state just be state mein wo particular NIT hai right so home state plays a very important part in the reservation terms so kaafi logo confusion hota that what is your home state exactly the state where you are born, jahan se aapka birth certificate hai, fir kya? So basically the home state which is considered in JEB examination is the state from which you have given your 12th board examination or any other equivalent examination. Now comes the very crucial criteria which can be a very terrifying news for most of you. I hope it's not. Basically if your board's percentage is less than 75% then you can still give the JEB examination but you will not be able to take admission in NITs, IITs or centrally funded institutions in case of this uh, BIAC examination you have SPAs right so you will not get admission into SPAs or any NITs if your board's percentage is less than 75% so, yaar, aisa nahi hai ki boards ke liye aap prepare hi nahi kar rahe ho and you're just focusing on JEBR. That's completely a wrong decision. Please focus on your boards as well. You don't want to score less than 75%. Also, there is a relaxation for SC and ST category students. So, if you're from SC and ST category, then it can be 65%. Now guys, if you are giving J B R examinations and if you want to take admission in any other institute apart from SPAs and NITs through J B R only, then you do not require the 75% rule. But yet there is a rule from COA which is the ultimate rule that is you should have 50% average or aggregate marks in your 
12th boards and also you should have 50% marks in your mathematics so this is a very big thing agar aapke sirf aur sirf mathematics mein at least 50% marks nahi hai na to aap architecture nahi kar sakte ho so please focus on mathematics and also your aggregate marks also guys if you have not started your preparation of nata and j b r yet what are you waiting for you should literally start your preparation from today we are conducting free demo classes for all the nata and j b r aspirants to attend the demo class you simply have to whatsapp us on the number which is mentioned on the screen also in the description box to simply ja hume whatsapp karo doubts poocho or at least free class to attend karke dekho i am sure you will get a lot of clarity regarding the preparation and all your doubts regarding architecture and architecture entrance examinations will be completely clear so what are you waiting for so guys my next video will be on the registration form on j paper 2 that how to fill the registration form basically and what are the details of it so a lot of you have a lot of doubts regarding filling the registration form to koi baat nahi hai main next video isi ke bare mein upload karungi aur aapke sare doubts clear ho jayenge so for that don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and i will see you in my next video bye everyone